Are you looking for a cheap and affordable USB microphone to help you with streaming, gaming, making YouTube videos in general? Maybe instead of getting an audio interface or a mixer, you're looking for something that's more simplified, something that you can easily plug into your computer and record your voice on the go. Well, lucky for you, I've got just what you're looking for because Fifine has created a new microphone called the Fifine T732 USB Condenser Microphone. So when your microphone arrives in the mail, you're gonna get a box that looks just like this. It says Fifine on it. And that's it guys, just a regular box. I'm just kidding with you, let's get into the details. All right, so the first thing you're probably wondering is where is the microphone? Well, here's the microphone. Condenser USB microphone. Here's the endpoints where you can plug in your USB connector cable into the USB connect. This microphone does not have a light that turns on when you connect it, unlike the other I find USB microphone, the T670 that I have. I do like that microphone. The fact that it has a light that lights up, it's a blue light. With this microphone, it doesn't light up, but when you have this microphone plugged in using Audacity, Adobe Audition, or your other music DAW, this microphone does get recognized by the input. It also is made of pure metal. So I would not suggest dropping the microphone or trying to break it, but just know that it is protected very well against what it's made from. The next item you'll receive is a shock mount. This has a nice red rubber band that goes around, around the shock mount. And I bet you're wondering, how do I even place my microphone into the shock mount? Well, you see these two handles right here? Boop. Right here, you bend them, you squeeze them together, and that creates a loosening right here. So the microphone can easily slip on. Let me show you a demonstration. Here I have the shock mount, and here I have the microphone. Place the microphone onto the shock mount, and it slips right on. Again, you wanna make sure that you're squeezing these handles. Otherwise, if you try to put the microphone into the shock mount and you're not squeezing it, it's, it's not gonna go in, guys. But if you're squeezing the handles, then it will go in. So make sure you're doing that. As well, the shock mount has a twistable end piece for you to attach to your arm that you receive with the audio kit. And this shock mount is twistable, so you can either twist it from the shock mount, or you can loosen up the arm from the handle and then just twist the handle, which will then tighten into the shock mount itself. In addition to the shock mount, you also get this cool little tripod holder, and it has this nice end piece that you can attach your shock mount to. So if you don't wish to use your extendable arm for whatever reason, you can definitely switch to this tripod microphone holder, and it'll do the job just fine. And now we get into the arm extender. Here is the arm extender that you get with your kit. It extends pretty high. You can also make it go in different directions, depending. Of course, when I attach this thing to the table, you'll be able to understand and visually see how this stretcher, this stretchy arm, works and can benefit you in the long run. But what to know about the stretchy arm? I just like to call it the stretchy arm. What to know about this arm extender? At the very end, you'll see this mini metal pole. It's like a spherical shape right here. And right now I have this golden ring around it, which helps me attach it to the shock mount later on. So now that it's loosened, if I were to put this on my shock mount right now, this little metal thing right here, the twisty, it's too thin. It won't fit into the shock mount. So therefore, I have to put this little adapter, or this metal ring, as I like to call it. I then twist it on, and then from there, I can twist the shock mount onto the metal ring. And it twists on like a charm. So now we have that, now you have an arm extender. So there's that. Now imagine having a microphone with this. So I've now taken the shock mount off of the extension arm, and you can see now the golden ring is no longer there. It's now inside the shock mount, which that happens sometimes. It helps to have a pair of pliers just in case you need to get that extra momentum to twist it and loosen it from whatever part you need. The next tool in this kit is our clamp. This clamp will be the attacher of the extension arm. And what I mean by attacher, you place the end of this black pole right here, into the opening where this is of the clamp, the top part where, the, where there's an open circle, an open hole. You make sure that this knob right here is loosened and then you just push it down and tighten it right up. And then what you're supposed to do is from here, if you see the, the metal ring, you're supposed to tighten it from the bottom of your desk. So you'll place this on the edge of your desk, making sure not to ruin any wood surfaces. And I would definitely be sure to spray or Lysol wipe this just in case, but you can loosen it like this Lefty Lucy, or you can tighten it. So now if I wanted to take this clamp off, just loosen this handle right here, and it comes right off. 
And of course, you can't go wrong with your pop filter. This pop filter is like the lifesaver of making sure your P's and your K's and your T's or your S's when speaking into your microphone don't get too sensitive. The microphone can only take so much noise in. And if it gets to the point where your microphone sensitivity is a little too much, then you can get a little bit of an S-ing slash a humming sound. And this popper will definitely help reduce that. If not, it'll help just filter it out. So I would definitely get this audio kit for the pop filter for one. And of course the arm extension, which I just explained how to use. And if you have this product and are interested in learning how to work this product, then definitely rewind the video, look over that arm extension one more time, or it's a video, so look over it as many times as you need. With this audio kit, you get an extra pair of rubber bands. You get two extra rubber bands to put on your shock mount, just in case your red rubber bands on your shock mount wear off after a while. And this bag also comes with a black square, a black rubber square. And this is for attaching to your clamp. So when you're clamping down the extension arm to your desk, you wanna make sure to have this black square rubber thingy <laughs> attached onto your clamp. So when you're tightening your clamp down to your desk, you won't leave any marks on the wood. And right here is an extra little push knob for your clamp. And as I mentioned before, you get a mini microphone holder and that also includes this nice microphone holder right here. So you pretty much place this on here. You put your microphone right here. It twists on, and then you can simply put it on like here. So again, if you wanted to use your small mini microphone holder, then you can place this microphone on it. It doesn't necessarily stay very tight on it, but it's just another microphone holder for you to use in case you don't want to use your arm extender but I would definitely consider using the arm extender because this thing is nothing compared to the arm extender. Just my own personal preference. But wait, I'm forgetting one more thing. Your USB condenser microphone also comes with a windshield. This windshield, which you place right on top of it, is so important. This will get rid of any sensitive winds that may go past your microphone. Like for example, if you have a very thick and beefy voice, and that's gonna pick up from this microphone. And there's a slight chance your microphone may not be able to capture it as clearly as you think it will. So this windshield right here will definitely help with making sure that microphone can capture that audio clean. Again, this all comes with the Five Fine T732 microphone kit. And if this product interests you, then you can definitely check out the link to the product in my video description below. Just like that. Easy review, short link, easy to purchase. So call now. I wanted to give you guys just a quick insight about this video. So I was supposedly recording with my lab microphone, which was clipped onto my shirt, but the lab wire was no longer working exactly. You get these problems from time to time because you're always using the microphone, right? So I learned that the microphone is now dead. <laughs> It was a really great working microphone. I used it for many projects and I'll definitely be ordering another lab microphone that is probably just as good, if not even better. But the audio you've been hearing so far has been from my Canon EOS M50, the built-in microphone it comes with. So if you're interested in looking for a nice 1080p slash 4K camera that can shoot really well, like right now, and has really great audio quality in the way of its internal microphone, then I would definitely suggest getting the Canon M50 as well, which you can find the link to that camera in my video description below. So now let's get to demonstrating how your clamp attaches to your arm extender, which then grabs onto the edge of your desk and tightens. Let's get to it. So overall, I think this microphone has amazing quality. It's a great USB condenser microphone for people who are wishing to stream and they're on a tight budget, especially for the microphone kit Five Fine provides you with. I say Five Fine, some people say Fee Fine. Five Fine, if you're watching this video, please comment down below how you actually pronounce your name. But yeah, like I said, this microphone is great quality. I'm not listening back to it because I do not want to get that interference, the lag of the input recording to my headphones. I would rather like to listen to my microphone with a clear output setting. 
Now with my Fifine K760, I was easily able to monitor my volume and hear myself out when talking into my microphone. And that is also because the microphone came with the front dial so you can adjust the, um, the audio levels as you went. But this microphone does not seem to have that. I did however look at some other videos based on this microphone, and if you are a Mac user, your chances of being able to hear the output from this microphone are very likely. So you pretty much go to your sound settings on your Mac computer, and you listen up to the input of the microphone and then the output. I guess this microphone is better suited for Mac computers, because I'm a PC user. I'm all the way Windows. So if I were to rate this microphone overall, I think I would give it an 8 out of 10 stars. And I say 8 because this microphone quality is quite amazing if you guys can't hear it already. And I minus the 2 points because even though the quality is really great, when it comes to monitoring my own voice and being able to hear myself when I talk into the microphone, that is a huge deal to me. Like not even just singing, just talking during a podcast, talking in a YouTube video like this. It just makes the experience so much more fun. Right now I don't have my headphones in because I'm not gonna... There's no point of having my headphones on if I can't hear my own voice right now. I'll most likely be using this microphone for video reactions as I've been doing in my YouTube channel. And I'll also be using the microphone I've currently been using which is the Fifine K670 USB microphone. If you're also interested in that microphone and want to check it out, I have a product review which you can check out right here, right here, and I'll also have a link to that product in my video description down below. So yeah, overall, thank you very much Fifine for letting me collaborate with you on this product review. This is a very nice microphone. I just wish I was able to hear my voice and not have to depend on the input volume because I'm a Windows person, so there's nothing we can really do about that. But overall, I'd recommend this microphone to any aspiring YouTuber, Twitch streamer, person who wants to make videos for Facebook, especially if you're making a podcast for Spotify, Amazon Prime Music, this microphone will definitely do the trick. It's easy to set up, it's simple, and it comes with an arm extender. I mean, the arm extender is a huge plus for me. I'll be using this arm extender like all the time. So thank you, Fifine, for including the arm extender in the kit. Alrighty guys, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button, let the YouTube algorithm know you enjoyed this video, and want to see more similar product reviews just like this. I don't post product reviews as often, but when I have an opportunity to make a product review for a microphone like this that has great quality, then heck yeah, I'm doing it. And if you're interested in purchasing this microphone, then definitely check out the link in my video description down below. And of course, if you're interested in watching more content from this channel because either you like my personality, you like this microphone, and want to hear more from the microphone, then I highly suggest subscribing to Jeffrey Hack Music down below and hitting that bell so you don't miss another upload. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this product review helped you understand and identify which USB microphone you may want. Maybe it's the Fifine T732, or it could be the Fifine K670, or perhaps it's none of the above. Maybe you're looking for a more expensive microphone. And if you enjoy this product review, then you might also enjoy another Five Fine Technology product review right here. But if you're looking for something else, then let YouTube do the deciding for you. Alrighty guys, that's enough for this product review. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope you decide to buy this product, and I'll see you in the next video.